Hello my friend, welcome back to High Mathematics. You're interested why 0 factorial equal to 1? Okay, I'm going to show you why 0 factorial equal to 1. There are a lot of videos on the internet, a lot of complicated solution to this problem, but I want to show you a really good approach, an easy approach. How can you easily see that 0 factorial equal to 1? Okay, okay, firstly we need to write a factorial formula. We have n factorial equal to 1 times 2 times 3, a lot of dots right here, and times 1 times n in the end. So if this is a classic formula, we all know this formula doesn't matter with this n, we have we have our formula, a product from 1, 2, 3 to until this n. Okay, and I want to write a previous element right here. So I want to write a previous element be behind this n. So take a look, we have n factorial, we have 1 times 2 times 3, a lot of dots right here, and the previous element will be not n but n minus 1, n times n in the end. Okay, I hope you understand this step. So the previous element n minus 1. Okay, but this product give us not n factorial from until this n. We have n minus 1 factorial until this moment. So as a result we can write it in another way. So our formula will be next n factorial equal to this product until not with this n but be behind this n we have n minus 1 factorial times times n. So I hope you understand this step. Just classic formula. It works with, with any numbers right here. For example, if we have 5 factorial, 5 factorial equal to 4 factorial times 5. It works every time. And you, of, of course, you know this formula, I think. Or you, or you find this formula in, in every math class right here if you're talking about factorial. Okay, what are we going to do next? Let's find from here n minus 1 factorial using cross multiplying. If you find it, we have n minus 1 factorial equal to n factorial over n. Using cross multiplying we find our n minus 1 factorial. And right now let's try to get closer and closer to 0. Let's try to find what is going on with this 0 factorial. Okay, if n equal to 5, what do we have? We have 5 minus 1, we have 4 factorial equal to 5 factorial over 5. 5 factorial over over 5. Okay, let's go further. We have n equal to 4. What do we have as a result? We have a 4 minus 1, 3 factorial, equal to 4 factorial over 4. Let's go closer and closer to this 0. We don't need to find it, uh, absolutely answer it. But let's go closer, n equal to 3. 3 minus 1, 2 factorial, equal to 3 factorial over 3. And I hope you see a little bit closer and closer what is going on with the 0. Let's go closer and closer, n equal to 2. What do we have? 2 minus 1, we have 1 factorial equal to 2 factorial over 2. And finally our moment, our case. So if n equal to 1, what do you have as a result? 1 minus 1, 0 factorial, our case equal to n factorial, 1 factorial over 1. And finally 1 factorial 1 over 1 it is equal to 1. So I hope you understand this approach. This is a really good approach. I saw a lot of videos on internet, a lot of complicated videos. How can we find our answer? But this is my approach. This is easy approach for me. Let's take a look closely. 4 factorial, right here 5, right here 4, right here 3, right here 2, and right here we have only with 1s. But this goes with the minus 1. We have 5, 4, 4, 3, 3, 2, 2, 1, and 0 and 1 and our final answer. If you still have any question, write a question in the comment. Thank you so much for watching. Put a thumbs up if you if you enjoyed this video. I try to find the best option for you to understand this 0 factorial equal to 1. And write any comment. It helps me a lot. It inspires me a lot. And thank you for watching. Have a great day and take care of yourself.